It has been a very pleasant interlude for me to have had this extended conversation with Mr. Sanjeev Kumar, uh, who has paid so much attention to locating the grave of Prince Dara Shukur. Uh, this effort is very valuable for a very substantial reason. Firstly, because Dara Shuko himself is not only a historical figure in the political history of the Mughal Empire, but also because of his great contribution to intellectual history, notably by his translation of the Upanishads, which brought these texts of philosophical speculations to the knowledge of the world for the first time, which is very seldom recognized. Before his translation, Persian translation reached Europe, especially through its Latin translation in late 18th century. No one outside India knew of the Upanishads and their philosophical speculations. So it made the Upanishads an international text. And that's a very immense, very large, great intellectual contribution of Darashkur. Besides his other efforts to see identical elements in both Islamic and Brahmanical thought. And therefore, to seek out where his mortal remains lie today was a very worthwhile project that the Kumar has taken. Um, I'm not an architect archaeologist or indeed an architect myself but as far as I can comprehend his identification of Dara Shukur's grave in Humayun's tomb seems to me quite definitive and should secure general acceptance. Um, I congratulate him on the success of his effort, which has been considerable, and I hope he will turn his attention further to the history of our country, especially, let us say, of Dara Shukur, which was also the time of a great book on the religions of the world, Tabistani Mazahim, written by a contemporary of Dara Shukur uh, in Persian in India. Uh, one is proud that in India one should have at the same time a figure like Dara Shukur, he learns, tries to learn learn Sanskrit and translate ancient Indian philosophical speculations into Persian. And at the same time, a man quite independent of royalty or government who devotes his life to the study, the comparative study of religions from ancient Iranian, Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity to various trends in Islam and produces, produced a book at the same time of which there is no comparison in, in the world of that age. So again, I end by congratulating Mr. Kumar for his effort in locating Dara Shukur's grave 
and express my expectation for further research on his part in the architecture and culture of that age. Thank you.